Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Swatatalik and Anthony Miles. This very beautiful chess game was played in Greece in 1993. Swatatalik had white pieces and he started with d4. Anthony Miles played knight to f6, c4, g6, knight to c3, bishop to g7, e4, d6. Tony is playing King's Indian defense. F3, the same ish variation. Tony Miles castles King's side. Bishop to e3, it is black to move. Tony Miles played c5. e5, knight to c6, and knight from b to d7. Other three most played moves. Tony Miles played c5, and this is a gambit move. White to move. Knight on g to e2 was played, not accepting a gambit, perhaps smelling a preparation. If d takes on c5, one line goes like this. d takes on c5, queen takes queen, rook takes queen, bishop takes on c5, knight to c6. White is a pawn up, but black is a compensation for a sacrificed pawn. Players like Rajabov, Nakamura and Shirov played this variation with the black pieces. Let's go back to our game. Knight on g to e2, knight to c6, queen to d2, e6, white to move. Castling queen's side comes to mind. Suatatalik played rook to d1. If castling queen side, then queen to a5, and after king to b1, a6, and the database shows that the black is doing well in this variation. Back to our game. So Atatalik played rook to d1, b6, bishop to g5, bishop to a6, d5, attacking the knight, knight to e5, b3, it is black to move, and this is the critical position of the game. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? There was a surprise. Tony Miles played h6, giving the h pawn for free. Maybe, but the offer was not accepted. Bishop to e3. If bishop takes on h6, then knight takes on e4, attacking the queen. After f takes on e4, queen to h4, check. And after g3, queen takes on h6, and black is doing well. Back to our game. Bishop to e3. e takes on d5. Knight takes on d5. Knight takes on d5. Queen takes on d5. Attacking the pawn on d6. Black to move. How to defend the pawn? Tony Miles played this awesome move. b5. Widen the castle. So this move makes lots of sense. c takes on b5. Bishop takes on b5. Opening the position will not profit the white king. White to move, knight to c1. Bishop to c6, queen to d2. If queen takes on d6, then the queen to a5 check, and after queen to d2, then knight takes on f3 check, forking the king and the queen, and after pawn takes knight, bishop to c3, pinning and winning. Back to our game. To avoid this disaster, Swatatalik played queen to d2. f5. Queen takes on d6. Queen to e8, defending the bishop and lining the queen with the white king. Queen takes on c5. f takes on e4. White to move. f4 was played, keeping the file closed. If f takes on e4, then bishop takes on e4. Would be risky for white. Back to our game. f4. Knight to d3, check. Knight takes on d3. E takes on d3, white to move, king to f2 was played. If rook takes on d3, then rook takes on f4. 
Back to our game, we have king to f2, rook to c8, queen to c4 check, king to h8, queen takes pawn on d3. White is two pawns up, but white king is less safe. Or maybe that is just an illusion. How to attack the white king? He seems to be protected well. Anthony Miles played g5. Rook to c1. Rook to d8 attacking the queen. Queen to e2. G takes on f4. Bishop to c5 attacking the rook. What is the best square for the rook? What would you do? Anthony Miles played this awesome move. f3 attacking the queen. The move doesn't look awesome because white queen has a target. Queen takes queen. It is black to move. What would you do? I guess most players would play rook from f takes queen on e8. Do you agree? There was a surprise. Pawn takes pawn on g2 discovered check. What is going on? Bishop takes rook that gave check. How about queen takes rook? Check. Then rook takes on f8. Check. And after bishop takes rook, bishop to d4. Check. And after king to e2, pawn takes rook, promoting to queen. And black is winning. Back to our game. Suatatalik played bishop takes rook. This is now the most interesting moment of the whole game. It is black to move. Please pause and find the best move for black. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find pawn takes rook promoting to queen? If you found this move, there is no congratulations, because in this variation, white is winning. One line goes like this. Bishop takes on g7, double check, king takes on g7, queen to e5 check, intending to push the black king on the light squares. If king goes to f8, then queen to f6 check, and after king to e8, rook to e1 check. If bishop blocks, then bishop to b5 check, winning the queen. Back to our game. So what is the solution then? Anthony Miles played this awesome move. He captured the rook and promoted the pawn to a knight. Suvatatalik resigned. One line goes like this. White king is in check. King to e1. Rook takes queen check. Bishop to e2. Bishop to b5. Bishop takes on g7. King takes on g7. And I guess we can stop here. What a game. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.